Last week, Australia's largest telecom operator took steps to offload its stake in Sufun, China's most popular property website, a state that was acquired by Telstra's previous boss. Now, there's been talk that the company is giving up on China and refocusing efforts only on the domestic market. But when I sat down with CEO David Thody, he told me that's not the case. Sufun is a wonderful asset. Uh, it was the first investment we did in China. And like many times, the first time you do a investment in the country, we didn't get everything right. Uh, and we've come to a point where it's in the best interest of our shareholders to go to the next stage. We always said, even when we did the acquisition initially, that we would consider an IPO, and it's come to that point. That doesn't mean, as people have speculated, that we're not committed to China. It just means that it's the next stage in our, in our uh, you know, our plan. So this doesn't mean the company's giving up on China? No, not at all, not at all. However, we'll be considered about what we do uh, and we'll take every investment uh, on its merits and move ahead. We uh, invested in a small company last year, uh, which was in the mobile space, value-added services space, uh, and we'll continue to do so. But only as we see opportunities come you know, before us, we believe that China is a wonderful market. You need to be patient, you need to build trust, and uh, you need to, you know, be prepared for changes, and that's what we're doing. You speak about customer relationships, and time is obviously a precious commodity for someone in your position. So, how do you force yourself to stay connected with the market, stay in touch with your customers, and not just get sucked into the day-to-day -day sort of operational part of your business? Well, it's a balance. Uh, on the one hand. I, my job is to set the strategy of the company, be involved in the bigger issues uh, as we go forward. But I must remain very focused on hearing what our customers are saying. Uh, and so I am across a lot of the challenges, opportunities and issues that are going on in the market. I have a blog site, uh, customers write to me every day, and I make it a, a point to read every letter I receive. So it's a fine balance because obviously my job is to enable our staff to serve our customers and to help them do the job. That's not my job. How if I don't know the reality of what they're going through, experiencing, then I'm not doing my job. So I do both and I have a team that helps me do that. But it's very important to us. What do you think will be the next big thing in mobile and internet technology? What is your vision? How will we be communicating with each other in say 10 years from now? Well, I, I personally think the future is very bright. Uh, if you look even today, the incredible amount of information that we share between each other on social media sites, uh, the, the advent of you know, the new iPhone and these new Android mobile phones, new applications, I see that growing exponentially. But it is about this always on experience and being able to anywhere in the world, anytime, be able to be connected to the information you need. And we're spending a lot of time in enabling that experience, simplifying it, uh, finding out what's really important to people. So we see things like the digital home as critically important to our future, or in small businesses about how businesses can truly you know, have an integrated communications capability across broadband, their mobile phone, and not having to have different contact books for you know, their mobile phone and you know, on their email systems. They are the sorts of things we're focused on. Now, you're a fan of basketball, so does that mixture of attack, defense, and teamwork apply to the boardroom as well? Absolutely. I mean, there's wonderful analogies that, uh, from basketball, but also you've got to know who's, uh, who's out you know, playing as a forward, who's a guard, uh, you know, who's playing the centre role, and work as a team. And that's very much what we do. Uh, you always, uh, like a basketball team, you've got to work at it. You've got to have great individual skills, uh, but you can be able to work together. A team of individuals is not very good, but a great team of wonderful individuals is what makes a difference.